Hey guys, welcome. In this video, we're going to look very quickly at how to use video in your Rempi projects. Before I get started, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who has subscribed. We're almost at 1300, which is mad. Also a huge thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. Your help makes all the difference and it spurs me on to keep going. So without further ado, let's get right into this. So here we've got our tutorials with Thundee project. Don't worry if you haven't got this. What we're gonna to do today is separate from all of that. Obviously it'd be nice to have it, but you can get on just fine with, uh, with what we have here. So before you do anything else, you need to make sure you have a video in the correct format. So here we've got an OGV format. You can convert these to OGV using the Theora.net video converter, which means you can use just about any video. Obviously, ideally, if you're gonna do a background video, you want the video to be loopable so that it can go round and round, but it's not going to be the end of the world if it doesn't. So we've got this in video and it's called background.ogv. So we can come to our project. The first thing that we need to do is define where the video is. So we need to say that it's an image because we're gonna call it as if it were an image. I'm gonna call this background underscore video. Now this is a movie, so we need to tell Rempi that it's a movie. Now the number of frames per second doesn't really matter, but you could put that in here. So if you wanted to slow it down or speed it up, you can do that here. But the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to say it's 1080 by 1920. And we need to tell the <laughs> we need to tell Rempi that that is actually the size. So we're going to type size equals. Then we want to tell Rempi to put it in the channel called movie. So we're going to say channel equals movie. And then we want to tell Rempi what to actually do and where the video file is. So we're going to say play equals and this is where we need to remember what our directory is called. So we'll go to video here and it's video and then it's background.ogv. So we're gonna say video background.ogv. And that should basically be it really in terms of definition. So now what we have to do is we want to go into our game loop. I think what we should do is to save having to mess around with deleting a load of stuff here, we're gonna to go to just before there and we're gonna say show background video and then we're gonna put pause so that we have to click the mouse to move forward. Another thing that we can do is we can set it to loop tidying up my syntax here and we also need to put the resolution the correct way around so it's 1920 by 1080 and then let's see what happens when we run our project with these things there you go so we now have a full screen background and as long as we don't click the mouse that will keep looping so that was really quick and easy I hope you found this useful by all means give me a thumbs up subscribe like let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll see you in the next one bye bye